Hey squad, welcome back. Now today I'm going to show you what I consider to be the very best option for converting audio into MIDI. Now I've done a few videos on this subject before, specifically in Logic Pro, but I wasn't 100% happy with the results. However, in this video, you'll see why I'm always going to go for this option over any other. Anyway, it's that time, so let's get into it. Okay, so there are a number of reasons why I might want to convert audio regions into MIDI parts. Maybe I want to overlay a MIDI bass line over my electric bass part, or maybe I've been sent a great recording of a grand piano, and I want to quickly work out what the chords are so I can create some overlays as well using pads or strings or anything like that. But let's say, for example, I've created an entire production without any MIDI at all, and all I've got is audio recordings, and I want to play the song live with a band. Each player might need a copy of the score so they can read the notes and work out what's going on. That could be another reason. So let me play you a quick section of the track I'm going to be converting some of these audio parts into MIDI. Have a quick listen. One element we're going to convert is definitely the bass line. Let's have a listen. Okay. And I think also maybe the piano section right here. Let's try that one. And finally, how about this string section right here? So let's first of all convert a couple of these using the Logic Pro method, and then we'll switch to Melodyne. So to convert this bass line from audio to MIDI, this is what we do. First of all, we select our track, let's zoom in a bit here, and we come up to the Flex mode switch. And then I'm gonna switch on the Flex pitch mode. Logic has now done the analysis and now we're going to double click on the audio region and within this window we click on edit and come down here to convert MIDI track from flex pitch data. Select that and now we can see our MIDI notes. As you can see right here a new MIDI track has been created with all of the MIDI notes in there. So what I'm going to do is make sure that the original bass is muted and on this new MIDI track I'm going to assign a bass line. So let's just come over to bass and yeah finger style bass on there and let's have a listen. Okay, not the best, not 100%. Uh, some of the timing is slightly out, but that's okay, I can fix that. And some of the notes are slightly out as well. But if this is all I had, then I can definitely work through it and fix the issues that already exist. And that's how we convert an audio bass to a MIDI bass in Logic. Next one I'm gonna do is the string section. So we switch on flex just here on our string section, open up the audio region and we come over here. Once again, we select create MIDI track from flex pitch data. Now we can see our MIDI notes and a new MIDI track has been created. We'll come over here and we'll assign some strings to this. I'm just gonna go for studio violins one. Okay, so let's have a listen to that. Okay, let's compare that to uh, the original strings right here. Okay, now that is definitely quite workable. Um, as a solo instrument, it can definitely work. I think what we should try now is something that's more polyphonic, playing chords. And now we'll go for the grand piano sound. Once again, we select our track, switch on flex, right here, open up the region, come to create MIDI track. And now we can see our notes. So now I'll play back the original audio track. Okay, 
let's see what we've got with our MIDI track. Nothing at all, nothing useful whatsoever. Absolutely useless. So what this has proven is that for solo monophonic instruments, we can actually do some of this using the flex pitch function in Logic Pro. However, audio regions with multiple notes being played at the same time or polyphonic, Logic is hopeless at converting that. So let me show you how you can quickly and so easily do this in Melodyne. Remember, if I'm bringing you value, don't forget to like the video. It's the best way of you supporting the channel. It's absolutely free to do, and it just helps me to bring you more quality content. Anyway, back to the video. And this time, as you can see, I haven't got flex pitch switched on. What we wanna do is come over here and insert an instance of Melodyne onto the channel strip of the baseline. But I'm gonna pull this up to the very first plugin slot at the top here. So now Melodyne is open and the next thing we do is click transfer and I'm just going to hit playback of my bass line. As you saw, whilst the bass line was being played back, Melodyne was capturing all of these blobs on the screen. So what we're going to do right now is come to the actual bass line, the audio region on screen, and we're going to mute that. And if we play back, we'll still hear the bass line. Okay, now the bass line is now playing back from within Melodyne. The next step is so simple. All we need to do now from within Melodyne, come to settings, save as MIDI. Now I'm going to name this bass, done. Let's close Melodyne for the minute. Let's mute this baseline track. And now I've got a new software instrument track with the finger style bass sound loaded up. So now what we want to do is come to our MIDI track, position the playhead at bar one and use the key command, command I to import the MIDI Base. Let's click on that and import. Okay, let's hear it with the with the rest of the track. Now the notes are all there. Timing slightly a little bit rushed, but we can easily fix that. Right, so there are a few things that we can tidy up on, but I'm certainly happier with this result compared to the logic result. So now let's try the same process on the grand piano, which of course is a polyphonic instrument and logic had a terrible time processing that. So once again, we click on the piano track. We insert an instance of Melodyne stereo. I'm now going to drag this to the top slot on the channel. And once again, I'm going to choose transfer and hit playback on logic. Now, as you can see, Melodyne is showing polyphonic detection. And look at this, look at how all of these notes or blobs are displayed on the screen. Once again, we come to save as MIDI. We're gonna type piano here, save. Come back to Logic, mute the piano section, create a new software instrument track and use a key command once again, Command I to import our MIDI and let's have a listen. All 
Okay, so there are a few things that we can go in and tidy up. For example, some of the velocities are a bit loud, so we can go in and address that here. And um, some of the notes, we've got some doubles right just like here, but compared to what we had from Logic in terms of the results, this is magical. We've captured the entire piano chord progression. And that's why I use Melodyne over Logic or anything else for audio to MIDI capture. So definitely check this one out. I've got a link in the description where you can go and try this out for 30 days free trial on Solemony. It's not an affiliate link, but I'll definitely recommend you try it out and see if it works for you. It might well provide a solution to your audio to MIDI conversion. Now, one thing to take note of is this. There are a few versions of Melodyne, Essential, Assistant, editor and studio. If you come down here, you'll see a comparison chart where you'll be able to figure out which one is the right one for you. The audio to MIDI function is available on assistant, editor and studio. However, it's not available on essential, which is the cheapest version. Having said that, you can try out the studio version completely free and experience all of this great functionality in terms of manipulating your audio. Anyway, that's the video for today. And as always, if I'm bringing you value, certainly in something like this, make sure you like the video, leave me a comment and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Until next time, I'm Deuce, I'm out, peace.